Aquarius, hi, welcome to your read for November 17th. I'm going to be looking at a rising chart with the Scorpio in the rising for the morning. And we are going to be looking at the tarot. We'll see what the message is for you this week. Uh, so let's get started, let's shuffle. By the way, Aquarius, if you would like a personal read, reach out to me via Instagram DM request and we can do a bird chart for you or we can do personal reading with current astrology with tarot. Um, I recommend the bird chart if you haven't um, had a bird chart read to you and, or if you don't understand the planets, what they're doing in your chart before we do your tarot. All right, so let's get started, Aquarius. Well, the first card is the Knight of Wands. You're exploring things. You're exploring, you're going back and forth. You, Aquarius, are you dating around here? It looks like you might be dating a couple energies, maybe going back and forth. Uh, let's see here, the challenge is the Ace of Wands. Wow, very passionate, steamy stuff going on here. What's going on? Nine of Wands is supporting the read. You're still standing from something that ended. Uh, yeah, something had to end with that Strawberries card. We'll talk about that. Uh, wing the boar is your strength. Wow, Scorpio got that. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Ten of Wands. There's a lot of Wands here, Aquarius, and a lot of fire. You have the King of Wands here, the Five of Chalices, and the Five of Wands. What is going on here? Um, you're being challenged to start new passionate things. I have no idea what that is. I hope this resonates for all of you guys. <laughs> You're being challenged and I understand what's going on with space now. You have Mars in contention, in opposition of Uranus there. And, um, you know, if this is people like trying to get into your space Aquarius and you're just not feeling it and you're like, no, I'm not feeling. And, you know, cause you're that free loving, you know, hippie spirit and you just want to like try new energies out. I think it's okay. I think it's okay and you don't have to be afraid of that because you have this nine of wands supporting the read. You're still standing from something that ended. If, if this is resonating with you, maybe because something ended recently and it's just asking you to have a good time that the old stuff had to rot away with these strawberries. This is a very special card in this deck. Strawberry fields forever. Something had to rot away for you to find something new and your strength is that you're just going with the flow with this winged boar. It's another special card. Leo got this. You could be dealing with the Leo, especially because you have a king of wands down there. You don't have to do a damn thing and you know that. You're just letting the universe do things for you and what's supporting the read is, yeah, something ended. And it's supporting the read meaning that that had to go away. It was no good. No good for you, and you know that. If you're here for this reading, and you're still here with me, you know whatever had to end, had to end. It wasn't doing any good here. You have the Nine of Chalices here. The things you need to know, there's a wish coming true here about a king. And the suggested approach here. I feel you just need to open up your heart to, you know, kingly type energies queenly type energies. You need to open up your heart to those energies of, you know, people that got their stuff together because possibly the past here, what rotted away, didn't have their stuff together. And if it's energies coming back this week, I see that, that that's going to kind of come in a little conflict, especially with that eclipse. It's about beginnings and endings. And if you just had an ending and you're bringing back another ending, I mean, you know, what's what's the point? I think it's it's time to move forward with new things here. Now, if if it is a reconciliation that you do want, I think it might happen with this nine of chalices. It might. I'm not saying they are coming back, but your hopes and fears is that somebody kind of comes back to save the day. And um, I think what you really should be hoping for is to kind of let go of that notion, that idea that they do come back to save the day here. Because uh, in the end, if you keep holding on to that notion, 
you cause a little conflict for yourself, a little fiery conflict. Now, with the Five of Wands here though, when this kind of shows up in a read, I know personally, when this shows up and when it's talking about past energies that have been let go or that let you go, um, this is kind of like get a new exercise routine or do some yoga, do some crazy stuff, some sports, uh, get involved physically, take care of that fifth house, focus on the fifth house there. Um, I do feel like, um, even though that this is a fire card, that this is kind of like allowing you to experience fun things as well. It's not so much of a bad conflict, but it's so much of a, ah, maybe, you know, like the bad situation is acting like feel for you. Let's clarify this nine of wands supporting the read. Uh, the sun. Um, you realize happiness is with that one wand you're still holding and you're standing up. Happiness is within you, Aquarius. Strawberries. Uh, the wheel of fortune, right? I did talk about things rotting away and just having to go because the new stuff is coming in and the wheel of fortune shows up saying, yeah, you're spinning that wheel of fortune. I also get Rahu K2 vibes off of this. Some of you might have Rahu K2, like first house, seventh house Leo. You guys might have that. You might want to check your chart. Um, maybe marriage is delayed because you're supposed to experience a lot of things in your life, a lot of fun things. I mean, I have it in my chart and it's vice versa because I'm Leo and seventh, right? I have Rahu K2 first seventh. So, you know, I'm not married. I haven't been married ever, but I'm having a good time. I'm doing my thing, right? It doesn't matter. Um, Ten of Wands here, let's clarify that. Six of Wands, you want to be seen. It's possibly the last person you're with didn't make you feel seen. Then you have a king over here in the future energy, so let's see. Do they make you feel seen? Yes, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, once balance is achieved, they do make you feel seen, yes. Let's pull two more for that card. The Moon. And the Six of Pentacles, yep. So you have the Six and the Six, two, two Sixes here. Um, with the Moon is saying that, you know, you might be dealing with somebody that's a little mysterious and you don't know too much of what's going on with them. And then, boom, all of a sudden balance and you feel seen with this person. Very cool. The Five of Cups is with the Devil. <laughs> <laughs> the past person's the devil. <laughs> so let's see the five of wands here, the lovers. So you get the lovers card at the end of the read. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Capricorn as well. Um, you know, folks, let's break this read down, okay? For those of you dealing with the past energy that went away and you're waiting for them to be Captain Save the Day, uh, don't count on that. Move forward with hobbies, things that make you feel happy, because you could meet a lover through that. Um, I'm going to be straight with you, Aquarians. Um, some of you that are in relationship stuff and you don't feel seen in the relationship, there needs to be some sort of dynamic change. Uh, that dynamic change, I can't call it out for you, but I feel like you don't really have to do much for the dynamic to change. It's quite possible that the dynamic will change on its own uh, for that relationship. And then for those of you dealing with new energies that are kind of like iffy, I don't know, um, keep giving it a go because that's going to balance out. I promise you, it's going to be balanced out with that. If it's a new energy and you're still kind of like iffy about it, okay? So you guys get the clarification for all types of relationships. So I just had an extra minute here before I cut your video off. I just figured, well, just might as well do it that way because I know this might not resonate for a lot of people. So I don't want the Aquarians to go off in the comments, okay? Anyways, Aquarius, if you enjoy that read, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram for a personal read. And um, the YouTube, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye, Aquarius.